inside the Vatican's museum, there's yet another smaller museum that deals with the history of Pope mobiles. The so-called carriage pavilion was created by Pope Paul VI back in 1973. The exhibit covers this unique form of transportation which has been used by popes in the past two centuries. For centuries, popes were carried on the shoulders of the faithful. Pope Paul VI complained that the swaying motion made him seasick. It was Pius XI who added motorized vehicles to the papal fleet. In 1930, Mercedes-Benz gave him a converted limousine. Is from the first train built in 1858 for Pope Pius IX. The train is dripping with history from the papal coat of arms on the exterior of the train to the curtains and furniture within. Each carriage had a unique function and served Pius IX in a particular way. That's not just any arm hanging out of that little car. That's the arm of the Pope. What would Jesus drive? Oh, I love the Fiat. Arriving in that Fiat. The little Fiat. Do you own stock in Fiat? If not, <laughs> buy it. And more about that Fiat. No fancy limousine. That is a Fiat. Everywhere it went, the little car got a big welcome. Introducing the shiny new Pope mobiles. Well, five of them to be precise. The new Fiat fleet was unveiled in Mexico City ahead of the Pope's upcoming visit to the country. The 